お腹が空きました。Can't try calling him? Where is he now? What's taking him so long? <laughs> yes, he must be here. Hello, Peter. Nice to meet you again. Good to see you. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Very nice to meet you. Let's head on out for coffee. Oh, sounds like yeah. a wonderful idea. And we wanted to have a little walk with Louis, but unfortunately, it started getting a little windy outside. So now we're driving to one of the coffee shops here. Well, that's your son's favorite coffee shop, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Holy Grounds Coffee House. So, yeah, it's, I'm so happy to have you uh, have you here tonight. And I've heard a lot about you. Yeah, so welcome aboard. I'm no, very happy to be here. So how long have you been teaching this? I've been teaching English and music for about 12 years. I had some Russian friends who asked me if I would help them improve their English. And so I, just, I, I discovered that I really enjoy teaching. My teaching philosophy is that people learn best just any subject, not just language, not just second language, any subject. People learn best in an environment that's supportive and positive. I, I want you know, my students to have fun. I don't want them to feel like, oh, I'm a bad person because I don't know how to pronounce this word. So I'm very gentle, I'm very patient. Yeah, I grew up in California. I uh, studied computer and information science at the University of California. And I worked in Silicon Valley for, oh, maybe over 20 years. And then I decided I wanted to do different things. Found a new passion. Yes. Yes. So, what do you what do you usually like do in your spare time? Do you have a hobby? I don't have much spare time, <laughs> but my favorite hobbies are cycling. I ride my bike whenever I can. Um, I have a mountain bike. There's beautiful trails in the hills, and it's also a very good way to get around town. Can I ask you what made you move to the Philippines? I came here about four years ago because a friend of mine asked me to help him with his technology business because he had to return to the U.S. This was the second time I've been here. Uh, I was here for uh, a few months in 2010, you know, working with my same friend. I think Subic Bay is my favorite place. It's a wonderful environment here. We have a tropical rainforest in the hills. We have beautiful beaches. Um, the air is clean, uh, it's peaceful and quiet, the traffic is well managed, it's a safe and secure place to live. Uh, you know, after the coronavirus passes uh, and people are able to travel again, you know, it's whatever anybody asks me, oh, should I go to Cebu for English or someplace else? It's, oh, come to Subic Bay. Uh, you won't have any complaints about Subic Bay. I was so surprised that uh, only a few few ESL learners from Japan and Korea are aware of Subic Bay. Right. I mean, they are well aware of our Manila or the only places you just mentioned, but not much about Subic Bay. So, right. Yeah. yeah. I would really like to do more to promote Subic Bay as a learning destination.